Uh, LaFu Channel 347 coming to you from Onimidiko Village in the heart of Surrey. Well, no, just across the border because actually there through the trees is uh, Windsor Castle and uh, that goes to my place. And I wanted to show you something. This is like um, uh, a while back there was a, a fence all going all around this field and we hadn't had access to it because there was an agreement with a farmer locally who rented it off the owner's artist's estate and anyway it's been freed up because partly because of the fence and um, so the, the fence has gone down and here it is a really beautiful little field here that was used for mainly for the farmer who rented and put horses on it to feed off the grass and anyway it's now become when you meet eco villages part of the estate of <laughs> um, but I wanted to point something out to you look you see now I'm gonna turn the camera I'm gonna see if we can get this you see here right okay I'm just gonna swing it can you see the line there's a line there what is it it's it's um, vegetable growing Isn't that a good idea so growing vegetables well, it is a good idea. We need to get have more land to grow vegetables on so that one day we can self-sustain. Um, but like with a lot of things here that happen um, because of the nature of the way everything is. And, you know, luckily, 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 Runnymede Eco Village is still an open site. Well, I believe it is. And that therefore, you know, people can say and do what they like and here is an example of doing what you like and it's like um, uh, if in my view right this is what this is a straight line now most people would think oh look we're gonna grow vegetables well it's true yeah we are but I want to show you the just look at the contour of this field right okay now right from day one since I've been here I've been putting forward ideas which um, I deem to be artistic in nature Artistic in nature is different from, you know, just saying art. Um, art is, I believe, part of nature. Now, if you think about this place, what you could have done was create a picture and actually do something really beautiful. But instead, you know, what we do is bring the Roman Empire with us and create a straight line in what was otherwise a very beautiful curved field. Now, you know, one idea, right? You could take the center, I've got a plane going over. You could take the center of this field and do a, design a picture that maybe from the air could be seen as a message and then fill it with vegetables. Design a really good picture. There's enough space in here to make a really nice design. And there's no, been no design here. As far as I can see, yeah, I might be wrong because I haven't spoken to those who've done it, but I know that people do this stuff, and you know, like, we, it's right, but I'm afraid what we've done is brought the Roman Empire with you. And the Roman Empire built straight lines. And here goes a straight line, look, have a look at this. Here goes our straight line across a, a round field. Okay, it's not quite straight. Maybe there is a design here. You know, I haven't quite worked it out yet, it's kind of curving a little bit. Um, it could curve a lot more from the air, even uh, kind of like a picture. Uh, you could do a sacred geometry with uh, um, and uh, what's the little hillock here? What's the little hillocks? What are these? I don't know. Little high points. Oh. Anyway, so it, it's an example of. Um, the fucked up nature of society, which hasn't quite got the idea yet that we're going to enter a new world and there's going to be new ways of doing things. You know, basically the meetings here, I went to one last week. And, to be honest, it was a joke. And the joke continues because every meeting since has still been a joke because the only two good ideas that were put forward in that meeting were completely ignored. And um, it's run by people who... Basically, they've got the idea set before they even start, and no one's going to get in their way. It's that kind of thing. Bludgeon is the way we operate, mostly. And it, it, 
it encapsulates everybody who gets the fever of bludgeon that's come from Rome. Um, now, you know, people think I'm kind of a bit nuts, right? I'm an older guy, a bit of a freak. I'm not really listened to right from day one because it's not me that's not listened to it. It's, it's not me. I know that people aren't. They like me kind of think I'm a bit nuts. But they don't listen to what I'm saying. They can't hear it because they're not artists or they haven't got, a, you know, the first thing about art in them. Nature, yeah, but you've got to marry the two, I'm afraid. And, uh, you know, I can tell you for sure that none, point none, of any ideas I ever put forward in any group have been taken up, really, as ways of doing things, which is sad, really. You know, when you consider that there are lots of artists in this world who could kind of marry themselves with nature and do things which, well, you know, actually were incredibly beautiful and provided food for living, it's very possible. And um, uh, there's no point in having a meeting because, um, because we're a free site, which is very good, you know. It just means that I can keep on, you know, kind of saying what the fuck I like. Uh, until I get kind of stabbed in the back someday. I won't know about that, will I? So I'm going to keep on saying it. And um, I'm afraid I stand for visual arts and nature, which are already apparent in nature, and you've just got to kind of um, look at nature first and decide what it's telling you before you jump into doing something. And we haven't got used to doing this yet, including meetings, right? We're still suffering from the um, madness of the civilization. We've only, we've been here three years, so you know, like, most people haven't even been here for three years. Most people who are in those meetings have been here for about a year, if, if that. And they don't get um, that there are people who have been here right from the beginning who are kind of, you know, they're here. I'm here. But I don't, I'm not, I refuse to join any meeting unless it was um, recorded. See, people have a problem with transparency. And really, you know, we've got to get over this. Adults, right? Adults in their mid to, mid 20s to late 30s, most of the sites got that age group here. And it's a sad age, really. It's kind of, you think you know, but you have no clue. Because you're so done out in your ways of kind of doing things. Um, so you think you own the knowledge to the world, and so you go ahead and do it and bludgeon your way through meetings. And, um, yeah, I know, keep having those. But there's an energy here which is different. And in the end, it's, as long as it stays free here, which it might not. I agree with that. It might not. But it, whilst I'm here, no one can say anything about my reason for being here. And I, f I bring art and nature together. And sadly, you know, um, England is about the worst place for understanding art and, and nature. It's kind of, we don't get a very good education in it. Uh, anything to do with art, they're all a bit freaks, aren't they, on the edge of society. You know, one or two make it through to big time and like civilization puts forward these amazing people who do amazing things but it's only because we only we don't support it right from the beginning it's like the message is if you're a kid don't do art unless you know you you're on it completely with your life you know 100 percent so sad it's like no that's not the way to teach art that's not a way to think about art either and they kind of know this how is it be that's why it continues to be the same and unfortunately, by the time, you know, children grow up and become adults, they're educated in what they think is reality and the way of doing things. Well, you know, someone said to me the other day, um, you can't change anything. Gordon, right, said, whispered to me, you can't change a thing. He even gave me someone to look at who kind of carried that message. Well, it's true. 
kind of like funny kind of way. It's true. You can't change the way things are. What is? Well, at the end of the day, nature is exactly that. Nature is nature, and it comes or goes. Most of nature kind of seems to survive every 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 stupid endeavor of mankind to attempt to become more civilized than it. And uh, unfortunately, it's a dying cause. I'm not going to show you the inside of my tent. It's the rat hole, Millie. Don't, don't bother. Um, so, I, here I am back at my little put feet, my fire. I haven't got 10 minutes. It's not bad. Um, so, I'm saying, you know, we'll do another one on politics and the election, I guess, as well, because um, sometime. But it is political. And it is politics. If you think that the city of London, and most people get this, don't they? That the city of London is in England. They've even got a Templars church. You know about the Templars and the Templar, the way, you know, why would it have a Templars church right in the centre if you understand the meaning of the Templars to understand why the city of London isn't the city or in this country of England? It's a separate state within England. And, um, the laws there aren't the laws that exist in the rest of the country. That's why all the main cases against any individual go to the royal courts, which sit in the middle of the city, where the laws are very different, and you're very unlikely to come there and win, because it's run by extremely um, well-educated part of the establishment, which is basically Roman. You know, you have to understand wars and know that the cleverest enemy isn't going to leave too much of a trail after it goes, apart from the one that you're all living in. The trail is the one that it's... It's what happens with, you know, the Americans when they go into Iraq and Afghanistan, the two recent examples. They're not going in to get rid of someone, they're going in to take over. On the back of the war comes the corporate machine, and it turns the cities and the towns into the shopping malls that you know in the West. With you know, sacred centers that have nothing to do with the country that they've gone into. And then, then they say they've left, when of course, you know, the law and the jurisdiction that they brought in the first place stays this thing on to the fucking to a T. We all grow up in this world, we think that's the reality, and we won, eventually the Romans left, but they didn't leave. I've got another, so one of my characters, Buster Leary, is an Italian, and I, I'll explain, 6,000 year history, whoa. So, anyway, 13 minutes, I like the number, have a nice day.